Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Galini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busted myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the benefits of creatine. Um, creatine is one of the most important things that your body needs. As a matter of fact, without creatine, you cease to exist. <clears throat> That's right, your body has to have it. It's so important that your body actually manufactures creatine. Um, you can get it from external sources, also from meats. Uh, depending on how you cook those meats, depends on how much you get in. And of course, there are the supplemental creatine. So let me talk to you about some of the, the benefits of creatine. Um, first of all, helps uh, muscle cells produce more energy. Um, this is kind of part of that whole ATP cycle. You know, you burn glycogen first and then your body uses the creatine to produce the ATP. So it's all part of that energy cycle. That's why it's so important um, for your body to have it. Um, supports many muscle functions. Um, anything that has to do with muscle firing, important. Um, studies have shown that it improves high intensity exercise. It speeds up muscle growth. Um, research is being done with, with Parkinson patients. Uh, many neurological diseases, uh, we're, we're doing research with uh, creatine. Um, of course, fatigue, tiredness. Um, if you've never used creatine before as a supplement, you're going to find it is going to increase that. Um, we're even seeing now that it may lower blood sugar levels with diabetes. Um, improves brain functions. So again, creatine isn't just for athletes. Creatine is for everybody. Now, most importantly, let me define creatine because creatine has become a generic name out there. So as to not confuse what the definition is, creatine means creatine monohydrate. Every other form, stay away from, does not work, counterfeit, so to say. Creatine monohydrate is the form that your body actually can use and convert to creatine phosphate, which is what your body is going to uh, use for that muscle fuel. All the other forms take creatine monohydrate and then they do something to it. Usually they subject it to an acid. What they're trying to do is make a claim that it goes in the solution better. Who cares? Creatine monohydrate is already water soluble. Now, the only bad thing about creatine monohydrate is it has a flaw. As soon as it hits water or the stomach acid, it instantaneously starts to convert to creatinine. Creatinine is a bile waste, it's toxic. It's what causes all the side effects that you've ever heard about creatine monohydrate. So what do we do? Guess what? I fixed that flaw with several patents. Uh, those patents are called crealkaline. Crealkaline is the world's only stable creatine. Now, is it creatine monohydrate? Yes, but the difference is it's been buffered during the manufacturing process and by elevating that pH, completely stabilizes the body. As a matter of fact, studies that I've shown um, have proven that it also helps to alkalize the body. And if you know anything about alkalizing the body and alkalinity, uh, you'll know all the benefits of that. So I recommend, first of all, creatine monohydrate um, as the only form of creatine. Don't use creatine HCL, nitrate, AKG, and whatever else comes onto the market. These are only 30 to 60% creatine. So why would you wanna use half of the dose? Ridiculous. Um, stick with creatine monohydrate and then move up to the only stable form, which is crealcaline. Now look here, if you haven't tried crealcaline, um, don't take my word for it, send me an email. Dr. J, that's D-R-J at A-L-L-A-M-P-H dot com. Let me send you out an absolute free sample for you to try and you'll see the difference yourself. So again, many benefits of using creatine. Um, I just kind of mentioned a few here today and we don't really have time to go into specifics, but I'd encourage you to do a little bit of research and if you haven't been taking a, a crealkaline supplement, I suggest that that should be the number one item on your supplement regimen. Anyway, I hope that helps, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.